When I'm doing the game, I think of someone who is sightless, someone that, that is going solely off of what I'm telling them and the roar of the crowd and the whole audio presentation we bring to them. Sometimes when I listen to the game back, I close my eyes and I try to just visualize how, do, how, how did this play happen? The game is going to take you on a, a roller coaster and just ride with it and, and uh, make it as enjoyable as you possibly can for, for everybody listening. The 49ers knock out the Rams. The 49ers win it 34 to 31. Tim was right about the head bob. They do it all the time. We're leaving the KNBR bunker and we're walking down to the 49er facility where the players are and uh, going to interview Emmanuel Sanders. Come on inside the gates. For most of the season, the radio show that I do with John Lund is, is 10 to 2 and they would start practice at 2. Now the schedule got moved up a little bit where they're, I normally get to watch like the last maybe 15, 20 minutes of practice as opposed to the whole practice. But uh, that's why I watch so much video and uh, to be able to get a, a visual on how they're gonna play and not just be told that we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, but actually be able to see it is invaluable. Thank you. We're gonna come in here and I think our timing to get a manual will be right on time. Uh, I'm going to start with the, the touchdown pass he had in uh, New Orleans when he had the Debo took the jet sweep coming this way and Emmanuel went that way. So what we're going to do on the, on the broadcast is come in with that touchdown call and then roll right into the interview. Appreciate it. How are you? Hey. How you been? It's uh, printing right now. So I, all, you do all 200 pages? Yeah. She's printing the entire Rams uh, media guide for me. Good seeing you. Oh. Emmanuel Sanders in three, two, one. Well, the 49ers, Emmanuel, have been playing for 70 years, and no one in their history has caught a touchdown pass and thrown a touchdown pass in the same game. Just tell me about the whole play, and then the actual play in the game against New Orleans was a really hard throw to make. Yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was, it was cool. Uh, you know, to be a, we had to go from practice and throwing ducks to getting in the game, and then uh, going into that game, I didn't know if Kyle, you know, had confidence enough that I'd be able to make that throw, but when he made the call, I was like, here we go, here's the moment. Something like the, the, the feeling of right before the game being on the sideline when it's a big game like this. Just talking to everybody, getting a feel for the game. Uh, I mean, a game like this with NFL Network here and Dion and the whole crew, LT, it's just got a big game vibe to it, obviously. Where do we go after this? I'm going to go to the booth and strap it on. Try to be like Charles Davis, what I'm going to try to be like. Great, great. Everybody wants to be way better than that. <laughs> you the best. Thank you, man. I want to see Ronnie Lott line up Todd Gurley. He'd light you up. <laughs> Take care, man. Have fun. Papa. How are you, man? You ready? I'm ready. You ready? I'll come better. We better. We'll drink about three more beers. I'll be ready. Let's go. Let's go. Just strolling, taking it in. It's a big game vibe, isn't it? Now, we take you live to the Lon Simmons Broadcast Booth at Levi Stadium. Here's Greg Papa and Jim Lyon. Good evening, one and all, and welcome to Levi's, and a happy holidays to you. Greg Papa with Tim Ryan, and the stage is set. You got to love, I love Levi's all the time, but in particular. You like it lit. I like it lit. Daryl Henderson, Jr., uh, the rookie running back, the round three pick out of Memphis, will return their opening kickoff. So we're underway. So this is my archaic system of my boards, which people so actually talked to me about Marv Albert. So this is the offensive line, the tight ends are down here, the running back, I'll put a fullback here, the Rams don't have a fullback on their roster, so Daryl Henderson goes there, the quarterbacks go there, and the running backs go there. This is something I want to access during the game immediately, uh, so I have individual notes, existing injuries, uh, just whatever I'm going to want to mention during the game about him. Darius Williams, the young corner who was starting for Troy Hill, who broke his right thumb last week in Dallas. Inside the Toyota red zone, Garoppolo under center, got a handoff to Mostert, good block by Garland! Touchdown! San Fran 
Francesco! What a block by the center, Ben Garland out in space. And wow. Raheem Moster takes it into the end zone. And what a play call by Mike McDaniel and Kyle Shanahan. The real challenge in, in, in football Donald is to be able to identify the player immediately. So I want to identify people. I don't like, I, I don't want to say intercepted by the 49ers. I, I want to say it was intercepted by Fred Warner immediately. Go up back, go up to the throw, it's intercepted by Fred Warner. He will run back the other way, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! San Francisco! What a play by Fred Warner! What an unbelievable play by Fred Warner. 49ers only have 39 yards of total offense in the second half and just two first downs. They'll start on their nine-yard line. A lot of time to go. Play action to Coleman. Garoppolo going to look deep shot. He's got Kittle open. 25-30. Breaks a tackle. 40. There goes George Kittle. Igniting the 49ers out to the 44-yard line. A 36-yard chunk. Garoppolo back. He's chased out. He's going to roll to his right and look to throw. He throws to the end zone. Caught by George Kittle. Right on the goal line. Touchdown! San Francisco! They have the lead back. Feels great, baby! And you know, I never really had a signature call. When I was doing baseball, I didn't have a signature home run call. When I was doing basketball, I never had one. And the touchdown Raiders call just kind of evolved over time. Uh, but then I became kind of known for it. So when I went to the 49ers, everybody was expecting this touchdown call. And I... You know, I, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. And then the third week of the preseason, we're getting ready to play the Kansas City Chiefs, so I'm watching all the Chiefs games, and I hear Mitch Holthus, the voice of the Kansas City Chiefs, who's a great friend. We have great respect for each other. And his call is, you know, touchdown, Kansas City. And I thought, whoa, Kansas City could easily be San Francisco. So I said, a Text to Bob Sargent, my boss here with the 49ers. He reached out to Al Guido, and Al Guido, the president of the team, reached out to Jed York, and I got a lot of these emojis, and everybody was on board with it, and uh, I thought, this is what I'm going to do. And then uh, right before the season started, my father passed away, and my dad's name is, is Frank, Frank Papa, and that's the name of the city. Sir Francis of uh, Assisi is the name of the city of San Francisco. And it just all seemed to work. To his left, Raheem Moster to his right. They twist the front, Garoppolo gonna throw a deep shot. Down the field, Emmanuel Sanders has got it! And the 49ers are in field goal range. It is Robbie Gold time. What a shot there on third and 16. They pick up 46 on the post route to Emmanuel Sanders. What an unbelievable throw. Here we go. Kyle Nelson will snap it. Wisnowski has it down. Robbie goal! The 49ers knock out the Rams. The 49ers win it 34 to 31. And the 49ers will go to Seattle a week from tomorrow with a, a goal of not only winning the NFC West, but being the number one seed in the entirety of the NFC playoffs. And pay this fan base back tonight because they were tremendous. They had an impact.